I think John Piquet is a guy who understands deliverance. And I think that's my message of going out and sharing and um, my whole message when I talk to myself. Um, thanking God for who he is and, and, and what he's actually done in my life. And to so many, it might seem minimal or small, but I think it's fabulous. And the one thing about John P. Key and New Life would be the fire that is shut up in their bones to get the message of the gospel out. What really makes me respect John is his stand. He's not a joker, he doesn't play. John is a young man who ultimately has a desire to share this message of deliverance because I'm sure and I'm convinced that we can live a delivered life. It's been a year to remember Somewhere blue and some dark skies I am glad that I am still
the best thing that ever happened to us. If you know it, point to the choir and say, choir, tonight in Charlotte, North Carolina, we know God will show. I might be fat, but I love God and I can rock. Hey! Come on, young people. That's it. Because of your rocking ability, you might be getting on somebody's nerves. But tell them you paid for your ticket. I totally see it as um, a ministry. We're going out here to create some melodies and scream um, um, these lyrics to get attention, uh, to focus on that one moment, that altar call at the end. So many people think it's just about jumping, it's just about how good you know, the tunes and everything sound. It's not about that. It's all about God, and it's all about his deliverance and what he can do for you. If it takes Sheila, Montrell, Curtis, Jeanette, whoever it takes to uh, Danya to sing this <laughs> lyric, um, I'm willing. We even go as far as to pull people out of the audience and, and include them to let them know. Again, it's it's not us. You know, this is just something we're doing now to really grasp, get your attention. So when that altar call comes, you understand where I'm going and where I came from in this service. Young people today need to know Jesus Christ. Yeah. And there is an alternative for them. God's word is just going to cut right down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To 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 where it really counts and. Um, and I think that, that he's doing that with his music. Angela and Veronica, um, I love them because of their unique ability to just minister, sing vocally. And, and honestly, I'm gonna be real honest here. I love the facial expression of the audience when you see, uh, quote unquote, two white figures walk out on stage and they begin to sing. And I think it really draws that line and say, well, we can say gospel is not a black thing or a white thing or a red thing. It's a Jesus thing.
Whenever I need somebody, it's just a song that we all can relate to. I never have any problem with the audience getting involved with that number because everybody's gone through a midnight experience when you're trying to figure out, what am I going to do with this circumstance? And the Lord just reminds you, you know, here I am, I'm here. And, and then we acknowledge He's there. And we've all gone through the tearful moment and when nobody's watching and, you know, the hair is on the dress so you don't have to impress anybody. So I think it was just a song. And it is a song that will not only touch the hearts of everybody that listens, but it'll touch the heart of those that have actually gone through something and know without a doubt in their mind it's because of Jesus that they came out. Can I get a witness here? I know who to call on now. Never I need I'm telling them no one knows. I know who to call on now. Come on whenever Whenever I need somebody His name is Jesus 
say it again. Found me a home in glory. Come on, believe us then. Found me a home. Say that again. Found me a home. The kids played a big part, not just the album, but the video and just being there. Um, it's better to teach them now than to rehabilitate them later. He told me the most important thing is really, if you really want to totally surrender and give it up, is give your life to Christ. And it's not the point of giving your life to Christ, but getting around a realm of people where you can understand not only getting delivered, but staying delivered. And that's what John P. Key taught me. And we must understand, we've all heard, they are the church of tomorrow, and that's cute, but it's deeper than that. You know, they're the church of today. We've got to really hear these young people. There's so many things I've learned. It's being a single parent and, and my children talking to me, saying, Daddy, uh, this is what's going on in school today. I'm shocked sometimes to find out the wisdom and knowledge of these babies. The song Sweeter um, was birthed. I found um, with the little Caribbean beat, the kids totally love that, and they get involved immediately. Um, I look at our concerts, and I do concerts all over the nation and, and, and all over the world, and when you tell the babies to come up, they run up, and I find out a large percentage of our audience and even buyers are, are young people. So I did not want another album to go by without at least dedicating a song to the children. And this particular number allows the kids to come up and be themselves. And I even noticed in recording in this song, more than being conscious of singing or I was so into just watching the kids, a young lady directed a little Moya, my godchild. <laughs> Let's you give him a big hand, come on. Clap for him one more time, come on. Vanessa Bell Armstrong is a phenomenal vocalist and Vanessa set the stage for so many vocalists today, secular, gospel, male, female. John is my very best friend. Uh, matter of fact, my only friend I have right now, <laughs> you know. And when I say that, because you know what, um, friends is when things happen and you don't fall out with them. Or, and I've heard him say a, a couple of times when people just don't flip out on you because things don't go the way that they want it to go. That's friends, when you can stick together, you can have words or whatever and just uh, misunderstandings and what have you, but you're still friends, you hang in there with them. And that's what I consider John as most of all right now. He is my friend. Vanessa has just really been there, not just for John, but really ministered to even some of the females within the choir structure and just really gone out of her way to be a real sister. And uh, uh, she's one I'll never forget. I, I praise God for her total attitude concerning what ministry is. And, and that's a word so many of us duck, but you can't duck that word. It's, it's got to be uh, the nucleus of who you are. And uh, um, she counts. She's one of the few that I can say it really kind of stood through the tough times. The song that it seemed to be just taking uh, everybody by storm is The Secret Is Out. And of course it's telling about uh, Jesus when uh, back in the days when he was walking uh, with us and he was telling uh, and he was healing and what have you and he would tell them not to go and tell what he's done. He, he just want to just do miraculous things. Uh, and and, and it's just, and it's real simple, it's, it's just tell me a story about Jesus Christ and basically that's all it is, is that I'm like telling you a story. He 
sing this verse, listen. For in my son, not against flesh and blood, but against What's your name? Wes? Wes, you look like you really like that. Because you know God's able, isn't he, Wes? Well, Wes, let me see what you got. It's in his hands now. Somebody else? Young lady right here with the squares in your, yeah, what's your name, honey? Becky? Becky, I love you. <laughs> Becky, you look like you really know Jesus. You was doing your neck a little bit, Becky. That's okay. It's in a neck now. Look at Becky. What's your name? With the brooch. What's your name? Andre with the brooch. Andre, you ain't shamed. You're throwing your arms all up in the air. Andre, I believe it's in his elbows. <laughs> I'm 
almost through. I got one more though. When I moved to Charlotte, came from a wonderful home, and I thank God for my parents. They raised me right. I just got off the wrong track. As a young man, when I didn't own a business nowhere, he gave me something to eat and he encouraged my heart and told me I was going to be somebody. And I saw him moving his neck. Mr. Hall, now I want you to be James Brown for me. Don't play. You got to do that neck like you just did it, bro. You look good. There he is. Right. The camera. Get him. There he is. You ready, Mr. Hall? Come on. It's in his neck now. The church folk don't take time to say the Lord is able. We say it a different way. We say, God is able. Yes, he 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 is able. God 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 is able. Uh-huh. How many know he is? Can I get a witness here? Raise your hand and say, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh. Oh. Look your neighbor in the eyes and neighbor.
our strongest um, passion now is to build a facility here in the Charlotte area. Um, there are so many programs we have, and we literally operate out of office now, and um, uh, we have service weekly. But we want our own facility because you know it's, it's winter time now. We do pillow and blanket, and what that is, that's a few bucks, a pillow and a blanket and some prayer. And we go out and we literally pick people up out of boxes and on the street, and we minister to them after we minister to them after midnight and after one and two when everybody's asleep. And it's sad to say, as cold as it is, there's still people living on the corner and on the street. And um, our adopt a family programs, which um, target single mothers or single parent homes and we go in and though we have a food stamp program i'm telling the nation there are some people that are hungry you know because a lot of times you know i'd be i would be out in the street actually uh, a lot of times i wouldn't have you know rent money and everything he'd make sure my rent was paid he'd make sure that you know i had food you know he looks after us takes good care of us and we do so many things within the inner city, going back to the corner where the drug dealer is, hanging out with him, ministering to him. And, and I think there's such a, um, uh, a hunger to actually go out and make a difference. Uh, we could be driving somewhere, someone would be on the street, it'd be three in the morning, he'll get out of the car and minister to them, you know? Not for charity, not for fame, or not for um, a clipping on TV or in newspapers. Just the effect that's on people to see anyone from an a ex-drug addict to a prostitute or a, um, a drug dealer, he doesn't matter. He's trying to help everyone. I want to encourage some of these kids that came off the street that are doing the right thing and let them know we appreciate it. You know, when something goes bad, all the news cameras are there. You know, we, we see the news. Everybody's not bad. There's some kids that were actually doing crack, that quit school in 11th grade, that went back and finished school. And they're maintaining and holding wonderful positions in, in corporate America. Realizing that I didn't have money at the time to go to college, that you really work day and night almost so that you can help, you know, the parents so you can go to school because you realize in society that was a good thing to do in terms of school to be productive in society. Another desire from inner city is not just to go to the center, but those that have been to Give them, a, give them a moment to testify, because I believe if some young people could see those testimonies and recognize she was a prostitute, God delivered her, now she's a missionary. He was a drug dealer, now he's a bishop. God, just like God delivered them, he's able to deliver me too. So I think the message of deliverance can be shared with these young people um, from a media perspective. I think it's real wonderful. Videos, however God can do it, however God will do it, you know, we're willing and ready.
I thank God again for the music, but I also want to be known as one that preached a message of Calvary. I brought it up again, over and over again, the fact that Jesus did die, not just for me, but for you. Uh, regardless of what you've believed over the years, that's my total message. Um, I want to be remembered as one who really wanted young people to surrender to God. I mean, that was just a compassion. Going out and compelling, telling them now is the time. I, I think if we could be remembered for that, that could touch the hearts of so many more. Not just to sing, but to go out and minister and touch lives. A little baby sheep who's lost her way. Yeah, who's Stretch wide open, there is room for everyone. I surrender, I surrender, oh, everything. Casting all my cares upon you. Before we leave the room, let's go together. How many have something in your hearts and in your minds and in your spirits that you want to surrender tonight? If there's something in your life that's not like God, you don't have to take it out of the room. I'm so glad that these young people have stayed at the altar. Because it's time for us to return. Hallelujah. Tonight, I don't care what church you go to. As long as you go to church. Hallelujah. But tonight I'm more concerned about your relationship with God. Thank you, Lord. Tonight in this room, if there's something that you had in 94 that you don't even want to come over here to 95, lift your hand up in the air right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know the lighting crew but I wish you would turn the house lights up this is something to see tonight tonight these young people at the altar I wish we could just clap our hands like we used to <laughs> hallelujah there are many of you that raise your hand that's not in the aisle let's make the devil hallelujah. mad 
as a simple act of faith, I want you to get out of your seat and just walk into the aisle with these young people. If there's something you want to surrender, we'll pray and we'll get out of here together. Come on, real quick, come on. I wish you believers start clapping and they'll get up and come on, surrender that thing to God. Come on, we're going to pray, we're just going to pray, we're just going to pray. Just make your way to the aisle, hallelujah. Somebody say, why the aisle? God can bless me where I sit. I know that. But if you move into that aisle, that's an act of faith. And as you get up and begin to walk, you're saying, Father, I believe you. God, I know you're going to move concerning me. Tonight we're going to pray. I'm believing God to deliver from the front door to the back door. We have a visitor that's coming in here. I want you to meet him and we'll go home. Tonight, more than any visitor, I'm excited about who God is. Keep us in your prayers, because it's not about singing. Thank God for the gift, but it's only a, an attention getter to tell somebody who Jesus is. As a simple act of faith, as they keep playing that softly, whatever that thing is, you don't want to see anymore. Grab it in your hand. When I count to three, I want you to slam it down like you never want to see it again. One, two, three. Now clap your hands in here. Come on here. Come on, clap your hands in here. Somebody went through something lately. Tell your neighbor it's already gone. As you begin to praise God, he's freeing you right now. Clap those hands. Don't stop. Don't stop yet. Hallelujah. Do a new work. Do a new thing. Hallelujah. God Almighty. Somebody else in the room, sick in your body, stand up right where you are. You don't have to make it to that. Believe God to heal your body. I know he can. Thank you, Lord God. Somebody needs a new job, get on your feet right now. Sick of that old one, want God to bless you. As an act of faith, stand on your feet. He'll bless you like never before. Somebody needs a financial miracle. Get on your feet right now. Thank you, Lord God. As you stand up, say, I believe God. Pat your pocket and say, it's already mine. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the day shall come that before you even pray, he's going to give you an answer. How many believe that tonight? I believe it in my heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. I'm asking God, I'm believing God for a lot of things this year. And I want you to get everything. We're not going to handcuff the Lord. All those things that you desire by faith. Hallelujah. Reach up and just get them right now. Get them, get them, get them. Come on, get them, get them. Now smile at somebody and say, it's mine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We're going to pray now. Glory to God. Last call. And we'll pray. I'm grateful that there are some obedient people here tonight. In this room, there's some that are sitting that have loved ones that are not saved. God didn't just say he would save you. He said he'd save your house. Why don't you stand up and believe God to save that unsaved cousin, that unsaved brother, that unsaved sister? All over the, I don't care where you are. Stand up and believe God to deliver somebody else. Thank you, Lord God. Bow your heads. We're going to pray here. With your head bowed, listen to me. I'm so glad that God gives volitional element that allows us to either accept him or reject him. We're telling the devil in 95 we're not committing suicide. We're going to be like David. I shall not die. We're going to live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we have not a high priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. At all points, he was tipped it like as we are. Growing up in the church, I heard that scripture so many times. But young people, I found out there's some more to that scripture. It goes on to say, yet without sin. I'm telling young people all over the world, you can live a saved life. You can live a delivered life. How many know you can? Thank you, Lord God. We're praying now. Open your mouth. Father. Thank you now. Thank you now. Father, Father thank, you right now. thank you right now. Lord, Lord if, there's anything, if there's anything, open your mouth. Lord, Lord if, there's anything, if there's anything in me, in me 
that's not like you. Take it out right now. Father, I've sinned before your eyes. But right now, I thank you. I thank you for sending your son. He has a name. And it's Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for shedding your blood just for me. Say it just for me. Tonight, January 1, 1995, I surrender everything. Tonight, I surrender everything. Father, thank you for making a difference in my life. Satan, take your ugly hands off me. Say it with authority. Satan, take your ugly hands off me. I belong to God now. I belong to God now. Satan, I cancel all of your appointments concerning me. And right now, I have the victory in Jesus Christ. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus just for me. Now, I know that I know that I know. I want you to scream it like you believe it. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Clap your hands, everybody. Come on, clap those hands. Clap those hands, everybody. Clap those hands, everybody. Lift those hands, everybody. Come on, praise him. I give you my hug. seen this special, I pray in my heart that something has been done to touch your heart. Um, the altar call, the significance of the altar call, I think, was not just for those that participated that night in service, but even for those that are watching. And the song, I Surrender, was done on purpose. It was put on the album on purpose. Um, so many told us not to record that. It's not smart to put a altar call on the album. I'm glad it was on there because it's going to give me an opportunity for that brother or sister that it's been so hard to minister to. We can listen to this song with this real nice groove and they can listen to the lyrics and at the end I have the opportunity to pray with them. So in my heart I'm so grateful that you not only heard the songs or, or heard the different groups or the soloists, but you participated in this wonderful special. Show.